What's going on, guys? I'm back, keeping up with the X-Men, and before we get started, before we go back into all the reviews and things like that, I figured I would come in here and I would talk about the X-Men Long Boxes. These are awesome. This is so cool. It's a little short. It's not about the size of a normal long box. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a deal, it's a deal smaller than the, than the normal long boxes in general. In fact, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I'm not going to, that's where they are. I'm not dragging them out. I'm sorry. I would have compared the size, but I'm not going to. This one is considerably smaller, but it's really cool. I love just how extreme the colors are and everything. And only problem with it was this. That is the price tag. Um, I went to a place that I don't normally go to, a comic book store that I do not trust and I do not like, and I left them a long time ago. And the only reason I went back, the only reason I went back was because of this show right here. That's it. I went back because of this show. This show needs a copy of Gambit and Rogue. So I went there to get it. I'm not going to talk about it here. If you would like to hear what happened there, go to Reploid Productions YouTube and you can see why I left this comic, why I left this comic shop. Oh, I got another one right here. This is the Phoenix Resurrection box. It is filled with awesome because for one, I love this whole Phoenix Resurrection thing that's going on right now. And I love that. That is such a good image. It's such a strong image. And then I really like the one in the back here. This box is a little bit bigger. It's a little cooler. And each one of these boxes are about $12. Um, I'm not going to tell you I know exactly where to get them. I know that I got them from a comic store and that you can also get them from other places. I'm sure there's somewhere online that sells them or something like that. But if you could support your local comic shop, do so. They're about $12 a piece. And you can laugh at me for buying a long box that's a little smaller than the normal long boxes. And it costs $12. But, you know, that's me. These, these long boxes are me. They're so me. I will pay the extra money to have something in this office that's more appealing than, say, blandness. It's, I'm trying to think how to explain this. When you look at your life, you live the mundane every single day, depending on what your job is, to be fair. And with me, I live a hardcore mundane. I work in warehouses. So I go to work and everything's gray and cardboard and it's, it's concrete and metal girders and cardboard all night long. And then, of course, in the real world, when I go around and I go out to eat and it's usually in a place that's somewhat like, you just, you get the idea. The mundane real life surrounds us all the time. And so when I come home... This is not the only room in my house that looks like this. I know this is like my office, and you would think that that this would be the only room that kind of appears like this. It's not. It really is not. My whole house is like this. It's it's Tifa Lockhart on the wall, and over here is and that's not. But you get you get what I'm saying. Like like in here are pictures. But out there are pictures. Power Rangers are hung out up there. X-Men are hung out up there. All kinds of stuff is hung up around the house. And there's all kinds of collectibles and nice stuff that's just kind of placed all around the place and shelves, things on the walls and everything. And the reason for that is because when I come home, my house is my museum of myself. It is. It is everything that I love about the things that I'm into. It's fandom, it's video games, it's movies, it's merchandise, it's trinkets, it's stuff. I don't even have normal glasses. Like, every glass that I have, that I drink out of, has uh, Harley Quinn, Storm, X-Men, uh, Star Trek, all kinds of stuff, uh, Sailor Moon cups and things like that. All of it. All of it. I have a mug that I drink out of regularly. It is my most used glass, and it is an x-men mug like that's me i surround myself with stuff like this this is a big deal to me this i can i can display this normally all my long boxes sit in this closet closet back here and you can kind of see it down there you can see where the white boxes are they 
they they they fit that they fit that closet exactly. There's three going this way and then three going this way, and they just stack on top of each other and they build a wall all the way up to the top eventually. So that's fine and that works. But out here in the in the office frame, like over here in the corner, I'm going to be able to put these boxes there for easier access to the books that I read the most, which are my X-Men books. So I mean. That's just me. That's the way I am. I like this kind of stuff. And I thought this was really cool. And I just wanted to come in here and do a quick video. Just talk about why I think these boxes are cool. And just how cool they really are. Because these are awesome. These are awesome. They won't fit that much, to be fair. Like I said, they're not... It's about it. It's your standard, it's your standard long box. It's just the graphics on the outside of this box really caught my attention. It's just, they're shiny. <laughs> they're, they got the, I especially love this one. I do love my Phoenix one, but this, this is so classic, guys. This is so classic X-Men. So hardcore. It's so awesome. And I don't care that it doesn't fit as many books as my normal one does. This is going to be nice. This is going to be so nice. So as I said before, these came from a comic book shop that I'm not too happy about. And uh, I talked about that on Reploid Productions, so if you want, you can go over there and you check that out. It's, uh, it's, it's called Why I Don't Go to This Comic Shop Anymore or something like that. Um, and that's it. So uh, we got to get back to reviewing some of these books because, yeah, they're piling up.